Hi Jim, this is your girl Amber here and welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a favorites video in so long and being as though the month is wrapping up and you've seen all the holiday looks that Nicole Guerrera could potentially pull out of her most genius, creative, ridiculous, astounding, epic brain. We wrap up the month with some of the products that we've been using that we absolutely love and I found no better time than to do that. So if you're interested in what my October favorites are, then keep watching. All right, gems, let's just jump right into it. In no particular order, I do have some skincare, but mostly beauty. These are the things that I've really just been loving and I wanted to loop you guys in. So first things first is this is the Green Clean from Pharmacy. This is a makeup melt away cleansing balm. You guys, this is a nourishing facial cleansing balm that melts away makeup and pollution residue. Even the boldest eye makeup and long wearing foundation is easily removed, leaving skin hydrating and silky smooth. I attest to this. They essentially sent this out to your girl, um, uh, primarily surrounding all the looks that can come out of Halloween. But you know I don't celebrate Halloween. I don't do makeup looks on my channel. Uh, however, I do watch quite a bit. And my top two are Nicole Guerrero and uh, Rob Beauty Christie. Yeah. So uh, they're attesting that this particular product could remove the most heaviest amount of makeup. But for me, I have rolled it into my evening skincare routine. I haven't been wearing makeup that much, uh, but I had a really busy week. I, actually, I had a, a very busy couple of weeks and I was wearing makeup every single day, uh, speaking engagements and kind of just being out and about in the community. You know, she on here, you know, doing the Lord's work. But this has been something that I've gravitated towards. It does come with a little scoop, which I can appreciate having nails. You get a pain in the ass trying to get this product up. I mean, we all kind of do the back finger roll, but it's, you only need a pea size amount and it really covers and removes a lot of the makeup. Oh, it smells really good. It kind of smells like, like cucumber melon. Yes, definitely like a honeydew, cantaloupe type of teas. But I can attest that this is an amazing product. I've been using it all month. And as you can see, like I've only, I've only penetrated because you only need a small tea size amount. And uh, I've really been enjoying it. So for the sake of skincare, let's just keep it cute because the rest of it is beauty products. I've just been loving makeup. Uh, but from a facial oil. Now, let's talk about it. I'm oily combination. Amber, why are you putting oil in your face? Listen, I put oil in my face at night so that my skin doesn't have to overproduce oils to keep my face moisturized during the day. And then in the morning, I do put like more of like an oil, I'm sorry, more like a water gel type of uh, moisturizer underneath my makeup. But most days I don't wear makeup and I just want my skin to look hydrated and fresh and, you know, awake. And this Lapis Face Oil from Herbivore, she is a pretty penny. I don't know how much, but I'll make sure to annotate that somewhere in this video or in the description box. It is bae. Significant things I've noticed. Um, I'm not so puffy in the morning. I'm noticing that I, it, it stays all day, but it's not greasy, but it's not dry. So it's just a nice balance of oils. Uh, I would have to say it's more like a medium in weight uh, because Pharmacy has an oil too, and it's their honey grill, and it's way too thick. I've had to give it to Tosh because she has more um, dry skin uh, as we transition in the season. But this beauty right here is absolutely amazing. It smells really good. It kind of feels just like a like a facial. Once you apply it on the skin, you walk away and you just feel glowy and but not greasy. That is a significant difference. So if you guys can get your hand on any type of face oil, I would have to say this one right here. Although we're talking monthly favorites, I've been rocking with this one for all of September and all of October because it's not as hot anymore. I definitely wouldn't be pulling a facial oil during the summer because of that. Hello. All right, makeup. I'm super excited. Yes. So foundation, you guys, I have done, I didn't do a full review on this product, but I have talked about it in my most recent videos. And that is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Foundation. I did my everyday makeup look and I'll make sure to, you know, little eye circle button, one of those so that you guys can watch that video. But I have been using this, oh my gosh, y'all. It's almost like how I felt about CoverGirl. Like this medium to full coverage, velvet matte finish. It's so beautiful, I absolutely love it. I'm in the shade 137, I'm not wearing it today. 
because I was reviewing another product today, but if you watch that video and some other ones that I've just recently uploaded, I am using this foundation. Um, I did use 138 when I was transitioning, like when I came back from Costa Rica, I came back from Hawaii because you know she got a little color in her, uh, but they're beautiful. And believe it or not, they also came out with a concealer. I'm in the shade Dark 25 for highlighting uh, in the areas of my face that are sunken in. And it is absolutely beautiful. It's definitely a really good dupe for my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. So this month, since this has got on my front doorstep, oof, I love these products. This foundation is so bomb. Um, and I talked about it so heavily on my social media platforms that they sent me a backup. So I'm like, hi. And you can get Dosa Colors at Ulta, not Sephora like you can these other products. Next up, you guys, uh, the bronzer that I've been gravitating towards. I know you're like, benefit, benefit. Y'all got a bronzer for the dark skin girls? Yes, they do, loves. This is in the shade Toasted. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. I am wearing it today. It's definitely giving me more sun kiss and bringing more color to the skin so that I have more dimension. I use it for under my eye. I use it for a transition shade when I'm not really doing a heavy makeup look. Uh, overall, you know, we were feeling really left out when the girls were talking who the bronzer that they came out and was like, let's give our melanated sisters some options. And Toasted has been bomb. This uh, is described as a, a matte bronzing powder to give you a beachy bronze for deeper skin tones. So kudos to Benefit for that. Uh, I've had this in PR for a while, but I was a little skeptic because in the pan you're like, I don't know. But it's very indicative of like my Fenty bronzer and I'm in Mocha Mommy to even my CoverGirl Ebony bronzer. It's really a beautiful bronzer and full of pigment and punch. Yes, God. Next up, interesting, another Benefit Cosmetic product. This is a 24 hour brow setter. Uh, this has been a game changer for my brows. Uh, one thing is for sure, because when you are oily combination, sometimes products on your brows could, you know, you're like brushing your hair away or you're scratching. You can lose a lot of the pigment from maybe a pomade or a pencil brush. But this product here really sets it in place and it gives me more of kind of like that feathering that I like at the front end of my brow. Uh, and keeps my brows in place. I really, really like this in combination with my Cabrow pomade, as well as my, uh, gosh, what's the other one? The Goof Proof pencil as well. I only use Benefit for my brows, so for them to come out with a brow setter, this is an oldie but goodie, let's just be really clear. It's just that in the past couple months, I've been gravitating more and more towards setting uh, brow gels and I've never done that really before and I feel like significantly I can I can see the difference when I don't apply this so it's definitely been something that I've been rolling into uh, my makeup routine all right then we talk about mascaras I mean we probably have a million of mascaras I mean there's so many good mascaras out there and I'm not even suggesting that you invest heavily into the more expensive ones because I mean, we know we have some drugstore options, but for me and my lower lash line, cause you all know I wear lash extensions, I've been using my Shiseido Controlled Chaos Magic Ink. This hefty number here has a beautiful brush head. Um, and I find that it really grabs my little baby lashes and I don't have to do two, three, four, five coats to get that much of a payoff, maybe two at most. But because the bristle is so full, it, gets, it picks up a lot of pigment. It picks up a lot of pigment and puts down a lot of pigment. So it's definitely been a mascara that I've been gravitating more towards on a daily basis. But because I only use mascara on my lower lash line, um, I'm really super picky about it because it needs to show up. Like what are we putting mascara on if it's not here to present itself accordingly? Hello. <laughs> All right, then we jump right into the Sigma Liquid Pen Eyeliner. This is in the shade Wicked. It is a felt tip liner. And I know this could turn some people off because they feel like it's not pigment enough or they dry out, but I have not experienced that with this one. If anything, I feel like it's giving me like the perfect flick at the end. I did use it today on this look that you'll see in another video. Um, and I just been gravitating more towards it because it gives me the control I need. Like I really wanted a heavy duty cat eye liner. Um, and sometimes I don't want to have to overthink it because one thing about using a felt tip versus like a liquid liner is that you can like apply the pen to your inner corner and just kind of stamp 
right? You can kind of build out and trace out your liner and then go back in with your gel liner, go back in with your liquid liner and fill it in. Especially those who are beginners. Like if you feel like, gosh, the one thing I wish I could do was an eyeliner, then start with a felt tip pencil. And this Sigma one is super pigmented, super black. And she bomb, and I've just been loving it. Which, you know, yeah, no, no complaints. No complaints at all. All right, and last but not least, oh, you all know, if you haven't been following me for some time, that I love simple makeup looks. Believe it or not, this is a bit much, but I was having, a, I was in a moment, I was having a creative moment, and I had to, you know, to get that out of my system. But for the most part, I really only use three shade, um, three shadows on my lid for like my everyday makeup look, just something to deepen the outer corner, a transition shade. Shoot, I'll even use my bronzer to keep it super simple. But when Jackie Ina came out with this palette, did I feel like I needed another palette of all the palettes that I have? Absolutely not, but I'm here for supporting a fellow beauty YouTuber, specifically a woman of color, let's just be 100. But what I love about this palette is that it's giving me those three shades that I need right here. It's edges, ginger, and credit for my everyday look. But then I can spice it up and I can do something a little bit more dramatic. I get my little shimmers. Like I, This is a palette I can use every single solitary shade. And that in itself is a win, specifically for women of deeper skin tones. It's hard to find a, a chocolate that's warm. It's hard to find a transition shade that's that's warm and it's gonna show up on the skin, it's gonna be pigmented. Uh, Jackie did her thing with this. I mean, I have no complaints with this. Um, I know a lot of you have this palette and you're wondering like, okay, how can I use it for just something low key? I did take this palette with me to Costa Rica, so when I stepped it up for my birthday night and I wanted to be a little bit more shimmery and glam, I was able to do so. Only caveat is that there isn't a black in this palette, which is fine, because as long as you have a black coal liner, you can smudge it out and you'll be good to go. It's not necessary in order for you to have like a really polished, finished look. But outside of that, if you don't have your hands on this, highly, 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 highly recommend it. It's so pretty. And this one right here, you'd be heavily surprised. It's white, but it's kind of like this. It kind of has like this iridescent finish. She just, she, you know, she thought about it. She thought about it. Mm -hmm, I'll see you with Jackie. But yeah, those are the things that I've been gravitating towards this month. Really been loving uh, makeup. I feel like I f fell in love with it again. I was really heavy on skincare, but I feel like I've gotten my skin to a place that I'm super happy with, so I haven't changed many products up. I still use a lot of Kiehl's products and I'm happy with it. If you guys um, have any questions about the products that I've listed below and or if I've used products that maybe you have that you've considered your favorite, um, definitely sound off and let me know. I'm down for always adding to the mix. Like, you know, feed the elephants, people. Feed the No, what do they say? Like, don't feed the animals. Feed me. Feed this makeup animal, okay? So yeah, if you haven't already, make sure that you follow, you subscribe, and you have the new notifications, all the things that we talk about at the end of every video. Sound off below if you have any questions. I'll make sure to list all the products in the description box. And until our next video gems, bye.